Okay, so I'm, I'm recording now. Oh, look at this. There's more. Look. Oh my goodness. Yeah. We got yeah. major issues. <laughs> I guess I should save those. <clears throat> wow. Look at this. Wow. Oh, oh. shoot. What? I am stuck. Are you stuck? Oh man. Oh well, look, yeah, see it looks like they've been oh, wow. digging for something. <laughs> That's uh, great. <laughs> holy crap. Oh. Yeah, no, they've been digging. I don't know how long that's been there. We're gonna have to patch up and see if it comes back. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so this is an example of zombies digging. <laughs> It's a very good example of that, but again, we I don't know how long it's been there. It could have been that, you know, like that for a while since, we, you know, we've been uh, fighting zombies in our base there. So. Yeah, because the mechanics seem to have changed. So. Yeah. Yeah, and then over here we've got that massive. Oh, there's another, another trench here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's kind of neat actually, just how they they do that. Yeah, and then here's this. Big hole here. That's very nice. <laughs> oh okay. my goodness! There's quite a few. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll have to encase the whole hill in concrete. <laughs> wow. I don't know. Anyways, wow. uh, this is an uh, update of our base. I uh, wanted to take a look at it from the outside so we can see what the zombies see. And uh, yeah, we got it finally encased. I'm just gonna take a oh look at this. Oh. They've been digging here too. Oh yeah. Okay. So we got we got holes like that all over this hill. So yeah. And again, I don't know when it, when exactly yeah. those started. Because I never really noticed them before. So. No, neither have I. Yeah, even when I was working on it. So. Yeah. yeah. So as you can see, we've deforested the area <laughs> around the hill. Pretty good. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this. It's actually a pretty big uh, base, a lot of concrete. It's a nice expensive base, a lot of concrete, a lot of metal. You know, a lot of resources in making it. Hey, Mr. Zombie. Oh, he didn't see me, so it's good. Okay. So that's the perimeter of our base. Pretty exciting. Okay, so now let's take a look at the top. Whoa, there's a hole here. Crap. Oh. I fell in it. Oh! <laughs> oh, it's a deer. Get the deer. Oh, never mind. The deer? Yeah, wow. he's gone now, so never mind. I was getting the more interesting kills. Yeah. Okay, yeah, anyways, well, uh, Whoa, yeah. there's more holes here. <laughs> oh, you're down. You're already up there? Yeah. What yeah the heck? I'm, doing a, I'm doing a tour. Huh. Okay. So this is the ceiling of the base, middle trusting, so that if we decide we want to just shoot them through the ceiling, we can do that. I actually noticed it's really it's kind of hard to see what's going on through the middle trusting. It's kind of a oh yeah weird design. It's not as transparent as you would like. So it's it just seems like the outside right, of it is not yeah. transparent, but the insides are. Yeah. 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 So, anyways, that's uh, oh, we still have to fix that <laughs> that first piece that you created. That oh, yeah, it's too high, and we have to still fix that. But other than that, well, that's how we learn, right? You, yeah. You this is our fighting. Yeah, this is our fighting arena. This is the finished arena where we lure the zombies to and fight them. Most of them die on these spikes out here. Um, and then, oh, we got lots to replace too. Wow. Okay. Oh yeah, because I think they've been dying on. Yeah, but we haven't really been up here for a while, so... And so. here's nice... Here's the killing... Main killing area right here. They all like to congregate, and we shoot them down. And then, uh... Over here... Is where we... Get down... This is where our, our respawn point is. And, oh, there's a half slab missing here. Is that you or a zombie? Well, there was a box there before, oh, that's right? right. Yeah, so yeah, we that's destroyed right. it. We just haven't replaced it yet. Yeah, yeah. Well, like everything, once you build a structure, then you just neglect it, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's done. Move on. Okay, so this is wow. where we respawn right now. And then, 
here's our nice little safe drop in our way into our main base. So I will now drop down into the base. I, don't, I still don't trust it every time. It gives me. It's a worked every time. Yeah. For me. Wow. Okay. So, anyways, the layout of this main base should be familiar to most of you, I guess, because it hasn't changed all that much. Though our uh, blueberry and potato crop room is still the same as it always been was. Um, as you notice, our storage room has been emptied out. We've been robbed. Oh no! What happened? <laughs> Uh, we're going to turn this, this is going to be our cold storage room, so we're going to take any fridges that we loot, we're going to just put in here, so it's going to be full of fridges, and we'll just store our food or water or whatever, whatever needs cold storage in there. Right on. Um, and then... Uh, oh, see, I did the angled boxes here, just uh, yep. to show yep. that off. So I wanted to try, you have a reason for angled boxes? Yep. Oh, yeah, okay. so these are kind of our temporary storage boxes. We might end up doing that in every corner, just that we have <laughs> lots of boxes for whatever. And then here's our new corn thing. I've changed this a bit too. Um, I found it was hard to harvest the corn on the inside, so I just made little hallways. So this way you can just harvest the corns on the edges without having any problems. And same on this side. Yeah. And so there's basically three on the other side of the water that you can't get to. Other than that, we can get to all the corn we need. So yeah. that's good. So we've already been starting to make gas, even though <laughs> augers are now broken. But that's okay. Hopefully one day they'll get fixed again. Yeah, they just use too much fuel. Yeah, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Okay, now if you notice, uh, we stopped putting doors in. And there's a good reason <laughs> for that. I don't know if it's just our Mac. As you notice, we're using the map that we built in Alpha uh, 5. Yeah. So it seems to be working good. I don't, know, I don't know if this is just our map or if this is a bug, but anytime you use anything on the bedrock level, like a door, the console pops up like that. Ooh, anytime yeah. you pick, pick anything up, and let me drop some torches here. And if I try to pick them up, sometimes it works. Okay, of course, those it depends work on fine. how you aim, yeah. I yeah. find it depends on how you aim sometimes yeah. so okay and then there I try yeah. to pick that one up and the console popped up yeah. so yeah it sometimes works and doors generally always cause the, con the seat console to yeah. pop up which is annoying if I harvest corn same thing but if you're up on the upper layers then it doesn't happen then it works fine right pressing E doesn't cause the console to come up so oh. it's only down here at, at the bedrock level and we've actually marked where it starts happening <laughs> And the vacuum also only works basically without. Oh yeah, yeah. When the because of that, the fact, yeah. yeah, yeah. Because of that, you can't vacuum up. Um, so, anyways, this is our new. This is where all the storage stuff went. This is our new this forging, uh, crafting storage area. So here we've got our forge set up. We've got our iron and lead uh, storage here now, and we've got all new boxes made so that uh, basically we've got the full size boxes for everything. This is going to be brass up here. Of course, we haven't found any <laughs> trophies or anything yet, so we got no brass. Yeah. Um, and then these are forges with all our molds in it for those three. Over here, okay, over <laughs> here is our uh, pistol. right? So we've got storing our pistols are here, and then we've got all the different molds to make pistols. And over here, we've got our SMG with all the different molds to make SMGs. And over here, we've got shotguns with all the different molds to make shotguns. Oh, what happened to my shotgun molds? My shotgun molds disappeared. Okay, that's nice. I don't know. I didn't have to touch them. Yeah, I'm going to have to make new ones, I guess. Great, great, great. <laughs> and then over Weird. here, this is our, our ammo box. So it's storing all our different kinds of ammo, as well as the hunting rifles. And that's mostly because... As you can see, hunting rifles you can't break down. It don't, they don't doesn't go in the spot to break down. So oh, I still want to keep it. Yeah. I don't know what that means. I don't know if they're phasing out hunting rifles or they just haven't got to them. But uh, yeah, so we're just keeping them there here for now. And I guess they have the ammo they use now is a 7.62. I guess I don't know because hmm. I haven't seen any hunting rifle ammo anymore. Yeah. And here's here's our molds for the bullet casings and uh, bullet tips so we can make bullets. And in case anyone hasn't figured it out yet, if you take actually, <laughs> if you take a bullet 
you can deconstruct it into the casing oh. tips, and that's how we got. Oh this. yeah, here, good idea. I'll show that. Uh, yeah, and you can't do it with shotgun shells. So no, but that's because they're they're made differently. So can you pass me one bullet? <laughs> <laughs> I want to show it too, right, for yeah. the video. And that's how you can figure out how to make the different types of bullets because. Oh yeah, it's notice, so tiny too. If you notice, this bullet has two gunpowder for the ten millimeter. Oh. The yeah. nine millimeter only has one in the. Yeah. The 762 has three, and I think that's why there's only the three types of ammo, because that's all you can fit. Yeah. And that's how you decide what kind of ammo you're making is basically how much gunpowder you you're using in Here, between. I the, drop it. The tip and uh, yeah. you dropped it. Yeah, you can kind of see it. It's like right here. <laughs> oh, there. <laughs> yeah. In front of the oh, box here. Yeah. Got, <laughs> Got it. It's yeah. super tiny now. Yeah. The clips are a little bit easier to see, yeah. but now these are just, yeah. Yeah. So you can see I've got a few bullets here. Not all of this is from zombies, and I'll kind of explain that later, too. <laughs> okay, anyway, so yeah. these three here are miscellaneous boxes where we put stuff we're not sure what to do with. Right, right now we're just filling it up with water for making gas, and i got a bunch of other stuff. Again, now here's our coal and our potassium sulfate. Now we've got two sets of boxes over each. And I'll explain that a little bit later too, why we're doing that. It's good for extra storage, but there's a very specific reason. And, huh, interesting. My clay chest is empty. Oh, cause that's because I... You took stuff out of it? or? Oh, no, I didn't take any clay out of it. Interesting, okay. So, dirt, there's dirt, concrete. Unless it had something to do with, uh, because I took it all out and put it in my box up top. Yeah. Okay. That's what I did, so I don't know if you did anything with it after. That's fine. Don't worry about that now. Yeah. Okay, so then the blocks are all uh, you know, denoting what's in each chest, like yeah. before. And here we've got our pine wood and our wood products chest. Double storage. Food. Yeah, and uh, this is our food or cooking chests and we got room for more chests as we figure out what else we want to <laughs> store as, as new items get added to the game whatever so yeah um, so that's our basic layout and then you see a nice big long hallway well we'll get to that a little bit later <laughs> it leads to a very interesting spot um, but uh, the only thing we've noticed so far is that our map locations on the mini on the main map has changed like we are actually down here where the two rivers meet, um, but according to the map, we're above Coronado, right? So obviously the map coordinates have changed because the map is bigger. So going between Alpha Five and Alpha Six, that's the only difference that I've seen so far on the old using an older map. Yeah, because yeah, you cause can't use that map to navigate anymore. Yeah, because it seems when they added, they added like the right hand side, like a little chunk to it there on the top like right hand corner so north east and also the eastern side the northeast and the north you know there's a a section on each of those they added because you can kind of see in the uh north uh new west corner there there's a bunch of empty gaps i i bet you there'll be buildings and stuff that they'll put in there yeah because why would you put up a, a bunch of free space like that right yeah who knows yeah so, yeah. yeah it's interesting Okay, so um, do you want to talk about some of the things we've noticed about Alpha Six? <laughs> well, what is, like uh, like the main thing we've noticed yeah. multiplayer-wise is it's very easy to dupe items right now okay. because basically wh cool. what's happening is each chest it looks like every player has their own inventory in a chest. <laughs> so if I were to, you know go in this chest and if I were to put something in it if he were to look in there he would see what was in there initially when the server started but he wouldn't see anything new that I put in there right right yeah. Un unless I get I guess log logged out log back in and it would resync the chests so you can use that to your advantage now since every player has their own chest inventory yeah. see if you look here I can take <sighs> all of these items out of his chest and uh, he would still have them in his inventory yeah. So we can basically, and that's why we have two sets of chests. One so that we don't step over each other's toes as we're putting stuff in, we don't lose anything. The other so we can just go ahead and dupe, because why not? 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's actually come to our advantage because uh, we'll talk about the forging system a little <laughs> bit later. And basically, we've we've lost a few items anyways to, to the forging system. It's basically, in my opinion, it's broken. Uh, I don't think they've tested it enough. It hardly works, at least for, yeah. for us. It hardly ever seems to work. Yeah, um, I, I think the ingot, the ingot one, seems to be okay. Right. Yeah, and note the but, time too, everybody. Like uh, we're, right now, it's at two o'clock, two thirty yeah. in the morning. So yeah, exactly. normally, what would happen is spawning of of creatures. So just you make note of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> While yeah, we're normally, down here. Yeah, normally there'd be a ton of creatures dying right now. The, the zombie hordes would be uh, spawning, but since we're down at bedrock level, it uh, looks like they're finally that finally works. Where if you're not anywhere near the surface, they won't spawn. So that's yeah. actually a good thing. Now, now it's worth digging down the bedrock level to make your base. Yeah, you but I'm not sure about those holes. So once I get those holes all patched up, patched up, then we'll know. Yeah, because that could have been from before when we were fighting. Because there's some zombies they they get stuck on the grass or whatever, and then maybe they just start digging. Yeah, and we got tons of dirt. So yeah, because yeah. those holes are are towards the base. They're not going down. They're going across. Right. So yeah. It, to me, it seems zombies are trying to get to the... I think what's happening is there was a hole created, and then as zombies ah. get stuck in that hole, they just start digging their way through. Because it's the closest uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. distance towards where you are, probably, and so they'll yeah. keep kind of digging in that hole and make it larger and larger and larger and eventually reach you at some point. Yeah, yeah. I think so, yeah. But so. after a whole bunch of days, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, that's interesting. Um, so yeah, so... There's that, and uh, I'll, I'm going to cut to the little video we created of actually trying to do some forging. So and will I. Can, so you can see how wonderful it works. Yeah, so will I. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, now you can start again. Okay, so how do I make these things again? Okay, yeah, so so basically what I do is I take the iron, like the, the mold that you have, and put it in the yeah. mold. Boom. Okay. Then I put the material in, to the middle, like okay. the metal, all right? Yeah. Uh, and then I, in my inventory, I make sure I have like one log, all right. Okay. And then I, t I take that log, and I am throwing it into the bottom fuel thing. Okay. And then sometimes it fires and sometimes it doesn't. When it fires and you know it's fired and it takes it, you can okay. take your coal and then you can drop it into each of the three slots there. So do I wait for the log to disappear before I do that? That's probably not even lit. Sometimes you have to go out of it and go back oh. in and then well, it, it is lit, lights. but yeah. But some, there, see, like when I go back into it, I see it lit. But yeah. you, you need to make sure you see the timer go, uh, like the, the metal and forge or whatever, that will start to decrease. Once that starts okay. to decrease, you know, if it doesn't, I just go back out, go back in. And if not, sometimes <laughs> I grab my fuel. And all right, do it again. And then I'll put it in my inventory, go out, go back in. <laughs> <laughs> and then put the fuel, sometimes I'll put the fuel in the middle, and that's not doing dick yeah. as well. I love this, <laughs> this forging system. And usually it would always work, right, yeah. like that, but for some reason I don't know why. And if you do think it screws up, then always just grab your material out and just pull it out, right? Yeah. I'm going to take it out and put, see, oh. it, now it when took the log. Yeah, when I grabbed the metal out, then yeah. it took the log. So let's try this again then. Okay. So basically, I put the metal, I pulled it out, put it back in. I left the ink, the mold there. Uh, I put the butchwood in the bottom, and now it's fired and it's working. Now I'm putting the coal in. And sometimes it'll eat up like one or two coal on you, yeah. or it'll make coal disappear. That's a pain in the ass. And I'm going to put in for a stack of 64 metal, uh, 4, 8, 12. Uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, I'll put 18 units of coal, see what that does. Yeah, and hopefully it works, and that's what you do. Is yours going? Oh, shit. I just... Oh, there it is, okay. That's a fucking pain in the ass. Ooh. Oh, I think it, I think it just <laughs> ate my metal. It, and yeah, I think it sometimes does that too. Yeah. Okay.
Okay, so this this forging sucks. Okay, they, they yeah. gotta fix that. It's ridiculous. It's tricky, basically, yeah. Well, tricky and broken are two different things. And it's definitely broken. I saw the coal in there, though. There's 13 coal. Yeah, but it's not doing nothing. But I lost like 50 some 50 ingots. Woo! Well, good thing there's a remedy to that. <laughs> yep. So, that's the wonderful forging system. Thank you for bringing it to us, fun pimps. <laughs> uh, I know it's alpha, but I'm trying to make your game better, so please fix it. Oh, yeah. Uh. I'm not complaining, I just want it to be better. D definitely, yeah. No. It's not a complaint. A, c a complaint would be as if it stays like this and then it doesn't get changed. Then I yeah. can see it being complaints, right? Because as I go, hello. <laughs> yeah, I know. This is, to me, priority. The forging would be a priority to fix. There's some other yeah. bugs too, but the forging should be 100% because I don't want to lose <laughs> materials like that. Just. Yep. So, do you want me to try it or? Uh, it might be running now. Yeah, you just gotta put the the mold. Well, actually, I would take the coal out even. And I don't know what happened. I, to I did. I don't know. It's it's not doing shit. So. <laughs> uh, that's almost too. Okay, now back to the rest of the issues, I guess. Now, <coughs> don't get us wrong, we're not complaining, we're not, I know we bought it in alpha, we bought an unfinished game. So we understand, <laughs> we're just trying to make the game better, so we're just trying to point out the flaws as we see it, and you know, ho hopefully developers will fix them, and you know, everything will be good, and who knows, by the time this video comes up, maybe all this is fixed, I don't know. Oh, well, exactly, yeah, because I know that they're working on it, because we're doing this, was it January 28th, I think? Yeah. Yeah. So, that's the thing. Um, so, we'll see what happens. So. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the other thing we noticed, that we noticed an interesting, interesting thing with dirt, where you can actually have unlimited clay, you can make by digging up the dirt, and I'll just cut to that footage now as well, so you can see how that works. It will happen. Okay, so here's another wonderful, beautiful trick. <clears throat> when you place dirt, so, and you can use your shovel. <laughs> Watch it. Maybe you're, oh, oh, it happened, it happened. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Just has to happen enough to make it just not as common. Oh, it's, it's not a, yeah. 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 But, but. So every time you hit a place block of dirt, you get a chance of generating clay. So basically, now you have unlimited source of clay. There's, there's, another, there's one. another one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. there's another one here. Yeah. See? So they're dropping. Yep. Yep. So. Yeah. So magic clay. Another <laughs> wonderful feature of Alpha Six. Now, if it was like a world block, like uh, you know, like the you know, world exists and you dig the the grass and the ground. Yep. Then it yep. should do that, no problem. But not after you place it. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> huh? The clay generator. <laughs> yeah, very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is Alpha 6.1. Just, I guess, that's yep. to clarify. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Okay, and then we're back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is awesome. I like this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, what else? Is there anything else? The, um, the main thing, the big thing for me is the duping, the forges not working, at least the ones for the oh yeah, well things and stuff. The forge, yeah, basically uh, I figured out how it works and <laughs> it's a fine art almost, it's not even a science. It, it's very random, basically you would come in, you would put in your mold, you know, like what you would normally do, you put in your material and then you put in your, your fuel source. Uh, the only trick is sometimes it doesn't fire off. Like it looks like visually the graphic turns on, but 
you know, like it doesn't consume the block sometimes, and then there's a timer that it kind of works, and I don't know, it don't, you'll see once you start using it, it all just goes jumbled up, and it doesn't really work the way it should. Yeah. yeah. Come over here to the clay chest. I just uh, I just want to prove to people the, this whole separate inventory. So if you look in your one above, <coughs> yeah. What do you got there? I got one, two, three stacks yeah. of kit, and of I clay, just, and uh, yeah. Uh, I just yeah. showed everyone. I just emptied your chest. It says empty for me, right? And oh, I moved yeah. stuff dumped into says, my chest. It says search storage for me. And yeah. The bottom one for me says empty. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's very that that's very interesting. It makes makes sharing things a pain in the butt right now. Um, but yeah. again, it makes duping very, very easy. <laughs> Anyone running a public server, that's that's going to be the biggest issue. Is their their economy is going to be going to crap because people can do yeah. ammo or whatever they need. So public servers are probably going to be hit by that the hardest. They'll just have to do wipes. The public servers will have to do yeah, wipes. For us, it's no big deal because we're just playing ourselves. And if we want to dupe stuff, then that's fine for us. And yeah. you know, we're just doing it in mode of testing and I actually yeah. hope they fix it really really <laughs> soon because it takes some of the fun out of the game when you can yeah. just dupe stuff and you don't really need to go harvest it or re or get it so well, it's changed um, the way we played for sure because yeah. because oh, I'm dying here so let me eat <laughs> because <laughs> oh yeah you're showing off the venison stew uh, but yeah but no but uh, you know it definitely has changed because we, we used to share everything, and so this double yeah. box system has turned us into to have to not share. Like we still share, yeah. but it's turned into a duplication because yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, we couldn't access each other's chests. It's just a pain in the butt. Yeah. Really, what you, really, what, yeah. yeah. What you want to do is you want to I think grab the clay out of your chest and put it back in. I think that's I didn't do that. I just accessed it. But oh, I think you have to actually so. put something in there for it to update. Yeah. So I'm actually, I took it, I dropped it into my inventory, closed the box, opened the box, dropped it in, closed the box. Yeah, and it still says empty for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <that's> okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So those, I think that covers most of the issues that we found. Like, I, I do like the zombie spawning thing. Like, before, if I was down here, the zombies would, they would still spawn upstairs yeah. and basically they would try to get to me and it would be a pain in the ass we, every night we'd have to go out and fight them and yeah. to me that gets tiring when you just want to you know build down here yeah like being able to be down here without having to worry about zombies really makes you more productive so that's oh. what well, yeah, we basically, as soon as that mechanic changed, I came down here to help you. Like, yeah, you know. yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. So we yeah. were able to really expand the base really quickly, which is good. And so now let's head down to this, this tunnel. Uh, we basically ended up doing is tunneling our way to a location. What, this is kind of what we want to do is build tunnels throughout the map to, to specific locations yeah. uh, so that we can basically get to them faster. Because a low, is, yeah, a low tech, tra uh, your quick transportation yeah. system. <laughs> and then, like we were saying, if cars ever get out of the game, then we'll just widen the roads and we'll drive cars down here. Yeah, and that's. Oh, the other the other issue I wanted to bring up um, is the augers too. The augers <laughs> are really broken right now. Like basically, one gas is one one hit on a rock. Yeah. Not not even one block taken out, but one hit like <laughs> like with the one hit with the pickaxe is like one hit one gas is one hit on the auger, yeah. so you need three gas to take out a block. But it's like stone. a hit of the lowest stamina yeah. too, it seems. Right? Yeah. So. yeah. So gas is totally nerfed. It's not even worth using augers anymore at this point, and that's kind of sad. That's why you get the hundred out of the the wonderful cars. yeah hundred out of a car that, <laughs> that'll get you like twenty blocks you know it's ridiculous <laughs> if that oh, maybe yeah. yeah that that's the biggest hurt hit I don't know why they changed auger the auger was fine as far as, far as I was concerned because you could get on one gas like six five six blocks maybe seven blocks something like that and yeah. that to me that was fine yeah. so I don't know <laughs> so this it is all done by hand <laughs> yeah yeah this is all done by hand yeah. right, which we were able to do because we don't have to fight zombies. <laughs> so anyways, this is our yeah. first, and we're going to test, what we're, right now what we're going to do is, uh, it's safe enough to come up now, we're going to test our the change where once you clear out right a location, here. the zombies won't respawn in that location. As you all know from our first base, that was our biggest problem, that we built in an area that was a building, 
And so basically we would have inside spawns, so we weren't 100% safe. Yeah. Supposedly they fixed that. <laughs> so we were going to test it out. We're going to uh, go ahead and clear out. As you can see, it's like, well, where are we? This is forest. <laughs> uh, well, if we go in this direction, oh, I think that's right. Um, is that right? I don't know. Yeah, no, yeah, this, it's this direction. If you keep going straight. Oh, see. yeah, now I see it. Yeah. Oh. You can see, oh, there's a church. And if you know zombies. Oh. Oh, you shot. I missed. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. if you know, as you know, zombies, they seem to be a lot more docile now. Like, if they don't even see you, then... No, that grass. That grass is a pain in the ass. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and clear out this church. And we're going to vi visit it every once in a while and see if uh, it responds. It shouldn't, in theory. Oh, what the oh, heck? See, now I took... Come over here, where are you, Sean War? Okay, yeah. I just took from this stump. If oh. you, a, bit, a bit of stuff in there for you, right? Yeah, bullets. Yeah, yeah, see, so that... So that, so that uh, double inventory system doesn't isn't only just for chess, it's for any item in the game that's uh, that has an inventory. So basically we're going to have to double loot everything. And we're using crossbows because wow. we don't want... We don't want to alert the whole horde here. That's part of it too, yeah. So basically, I should loot the zombies that you kill. Oh no, wait. No, zombies. They don't. Huh. Well, zombies are the only thing that work properly that way. <laughs> they have a single inventory, but everything uh. else, double inventory. And oh, good, we got a car here. We can see if we get some gas out of the car. If we get lucky. This is cool, the graveyard. Too yeah. bad you can't build like the tombstones and stuff. Okay. Oh, there's a crawler. Is there? Yeah, he was on top of the log. Okay. Oh, 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 that's funny. You'll have to watch my footage to see oh. what he does. <laughs> uh, I just pinned a zombie to a tree here. Nice. I didn't think he could do that. Like damaged and dead, or? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. He's pinned to a bush. There we go. I shot that's... my. Oh my... yes, a hundred gas! Yay! <laughs> come, come to the car. Get, get the hundred gas, please. <laughs> that's really good. See, you can see the zombie here. Oh, it's empty. Really? Yeah. Also, oh, so cars work properly. Huh. Interesting. So, the, so let's take that one. This guy back here. To the house. I, I pinned him to the bush. If you can see. Yeah. No, he's there. It's, it's That's funny. funny. Yeah. Okay. So let's go. In. Is that it for the zombies around here? Oh, uh, there's some more cars over here. Let's check these out. Oh, you're going out. I'm gonna go this way. You can go that way. I'm gonna. Yeah. Gonna oh, another up. hundred gas. Nice. Okay, so we got 200 gas out of all this. There's a zombie back here. Yeah. Oh, wow, they can just walk over this fence. That's so yeah. funny. As you can see, I'm using the knife again because uh, they don't seem to be as bad as they were. Yeah. So. Yeah, they're okay now. I don't mind using them. Yeah, you, okay, so you, I think we got all the outside ones. Oh, yeah, I guess, yeah, you just... Definitely. I'm just coming around the back area. Yeah. You want to pick up all these chrysanthemums? Yeah, that's our, our done as well. There's not very many. You no. Know, because as you noticed, uh, in we're denoting miscellaneous chests with that redwood. So, okay. So, which you want to go in the front or the back? Um, I don't know. I'm just just gonna Let's go, go to the front then. Oh, uh, these aren't doors. Oh, they're not. No. Oh, I thought those are doors there. Okay. Oh, they, well, yeah, they visually look like doors, but they oh, don't. Not actual. Uh, yeah. Not ones you can manipulate. Oh, okay, interesting. Okay, so here we go. Oh, uh, now they're going to be interesting in here because they're going to be fast. So we're just going to shoot them, basically? Oh, or yeah. still use the quiet method? You can torch it up. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do here. Oh, no. No. Got to reload. Yeah, I hate that. Is. Oops. Ah. God damn. Oh, I missed. <laughs> there we go. Oh, uh, really? It's taking a lot. Wow. Uh, Why is this guy taking so much? Wow. Oh. He buffed up the fat guys for sure. Oh, it's been a while since we fought zombies, of course. <laughs> since the change, we haven't yeah, really... But 
Yeah. I don't know, I it's weird. Yeah. yeah. Well, then come check this trash, see if there's anything in there for you. Yeah, there's stuff in here. Okay, so yeah, see, it's interesting. That uses a different mechanic. Yeah, that uses the inventory mechanic. But as you know, as trashes are easier to break now, one hit and they're broken. Uh, I'm not even full stamina, so. <clears throat> okay, let's see what, we, what else is in here. Go ahead, torch. <coughs> Okay, so that should be good. I've never actually been in this church. Is this all it is? It's just one big building. Oh. oh, there I got him. Okay, cool. One shot. And here's those doors you can't manipulate. Yeah. See. Oh, is it like boards? Oh, okay, interesting. All right. So here we go. Nice. We got a lot of stuff. So you'll start looting, and I'll and I'll just follow behind you. And... Did you grab from the bird nest too? No. Oh wow, the cabinets are actually all empty. Oh, look at this chest. I um, hope they add that. To like, like, like to make that purple colored. That's yeah. pretty. Oh, look, coffin. D so did you oh, and there's brass in there. Ha ha! Yes. Sweet, so we don't have to completely restart the map. That's awesome. Well, no. Well, no, because the brass is uh, lootable, right? So. Yeah. We're just going to take a while to get all that. We'll have to fight zombies again, I guess. I think they should drop them. Yeah. That's uh, pretty cool. I like that. Yes. Uh, it's them being creative with the blocks, I guess. Yeah. The roof blocks. You know, I wonder if these... Uh, I'm going to see if these cabinets are lootable. If you can break them down to take them, or if they just disappear. They're like the... Oh! Refrigerators. Uh, uh, I don't think they turn anything. Uh, for some reason I'm stuck here. Is it this thing? Oh, you can you pick, pick up it up. Yeah. Okay, well, let's pick cool. them up. Yeah, maybe we can use that. Experiment with them. Yeah, no, the cabinets, unfortunately, they don't drop. That's too bad. Okay. No, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and start. I'm gonna break everything that we loot. That way we know we've looted it. This is kind of... Oh, I need to, uh, see, stamp. but the E works. Yeah, see, so you guys I notice. Tap it. Yeah, I can tap E all I want here, and then I don't have that console popping up. So it only happens near bedrock for yes. whatever reason. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the one disadvantage of building down on bedrock level. Yeah, we didn't show off the marker for that one, though. But that's okay. No, that's okay. We can do that. Gotta watch the time. I don't want to be caught up here at night. Right. Oh yeah, the waves. See now when you break. Ch oh, actually, you do get at least from these chests we get plywood. I notice when you, when you, uh, oh, I don't. I think I don't have room. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, what can I get rid of? Oh, actually, I can do this. There we go. Okay. Not a weird spot for bird's nest, but sure. <laughs> So yeah, so now that we've cleared it, this should stay clear. I wonder how we can make blocks like the marble here that's on the wall. I don't think we can at this point. It's shiny, yeah. Maybe that stuff maybe you can take down? Yeah, I'll see if I what happens, eh? Yeah. Oh, it's like glass. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, that's weird. That's funny. That's funny. So cabinets are definitely considered wood because you come up a lot quicker with the axe than with the pickaxe. Oh. So it's interesting, spawn chests do give you plywood, but crafted chests don't when you break them. Well, they don't drop anything anymore. The, the lights. Uh, I think they're supposed to drop brass now. They're supposed to, but I don't see anything drop. So. Maybe it's a chance. Yeah, maybe. That makes sense. Because, like, trusting, right, when you break it, it doesn't always give you scrap metal. Okay. Okay, let's see. Try this. Oh, yeah, I didn't see no brass. So, I don't know, maybe it's only certain ones. Oh, what happened to the <laughs> pews? They're all gone. Yeah, you could grab them. Okay. So we, now we just have to remember to visit this location every once in a while and see if... Uh... Oh, my aim is terrible today. 
Is it? Or is zombies outside? No. Oh. Well, a okay. hornet. Alright, so I've torched up this place somewhat, so it should be safe now if they do respawn. But yeah, if not, then um, you know maybe we can repurpose this building for something. Yeah, it's good size. So it it is definitely an outpost or something. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh. So I think that's about it for for the update. That I've Make it where the... actually where you can funnel them in and then shoot them in that area inside, yeah. right? Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. We can make it a. You know, a new killing area. And then make yeah. like an exit out the back and let's say you can run back to the, yeah. the hole. The or we could just dig a tunnel right underneath uh. it and just make a safe drop if you have to get out fast, right? Yeah, oh, there's a bird nest here on top of the grave. That's cool. <laughs> there should be a coffins, like if you dig underneath this, uh, like in the oh. graveyard, they should put <laughs> yeah. coffins there that you can loot. Well, maybe uh, there are. Uh, you have to try digging to see. Yeah, I haven't... Uh, Come on, pick up. Oh. No? Oh, no, no, I just. I just. There you go. I'm just lazy to. Oh. You know, yeah, I'm doing like what uh, some other YouTubers do. They just use their pickaxe to get rid of the sand. Or, I mean, the. Uh, oh, okay. okay I'm going to see what, what's underneath this. Oh! oh gosh. Look, look! <laughs> there's, there's a coffin. Oh, yeah! Totally! Nice! <laughs> nice! Fun pimps, yes! <laughs> right on! That's what we expected. That's, so, can we loot it or? Oh yeah. Oh yeah! Look at that. Forge this one doesn't have any uh, brass in it. How do you get at it though? Uh, I just kind of stand almost on top of it. Uh, oh, there we go. The, there we go. I'm gonna, I don't have room, so maybe you can pick that up. I don't sure. know. Sure. It's just a tin can. I don't really yeah. care about that so much. Let's see if this. Yeah, so we can spend time doing that actually. It makes your search the one in the corner okay. here, yeah. Cool, yeah. cool. So that's something to do. Good. Cool. We well, don't have to show you. All. Yeah, we don't have to do all of it though. Yeah, but hey, now it's that's cool. Yeah, now I'm stuck. Yeah. Just yeah, to go. Yeah. That is pretty cool. Too bad we can't take the coffins. Okay. You need to dig like yeah, like stairs. Oh yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay, so uh, let's head back to our. Have you tried destroying it just for the heck of it? No. Well, yeah, I've destroyed the one in the church. Oh, nothing. No. Ah, uh, I'm not gonna destroy it. Then I like it. Yeah. So where are you going? Back to our hole. Um, you went the wrong way though. Did I? Okay. Yeah. I don't know exactly where. Oh, oh wait a second here. I yeah. I did go the right way. No, no, it's this corner over here. There's a fatty here. Yeah, we're gonna. Our next step is to build a structure around that area to make it safe and to make it identifiable. And make a path or something. Yeah, because like as you can see, I can't f find my way to where it is. I don't know where it is. Uh, if you come to where I am, I'll show you. I don't know where you are, so. On, on the map, just in the direction. It's the other side. Oh, the is other it? Corner. Okay. Yeah. So it's this corner or down over here. There's zombies that they keep spawning. Though. Yeah, oh yeah, they'll. But they're. Oh well, yeah. So that's kind of interesting because they're not supposed to. Unless this is classified as a city. <laughs> well, that would be kind of weird. So then. Well, we're we're gonna test that out. You know, see what happens. Yeah. But yeah, but it's this way. Because I don't want to be cut out in dark here. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay. Just sped forward, yeah. Okay. There's no right. safe drop, right? No, there's no safe drop, no. So uh, let's get it. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> so as we come down, you'll notice there'll be a point where there's, I think, three torches in a row. Yeah. That's that's where the. There's one torch. Heat. Yeah, the one torch is inset, and that's, yeah, as you were saying. So that's the one right where here. we. Press the E. That's where. That's the level at where it starts causing the console yeah. to pop up. And we just passed it. And it's not, I showed it as we were going by. It, yeah. Right here. Yeah. This. This. At the, above it, the E works fine, as you can see. And then below it, it does the console. So yeah. for some reason, at that level. Now again, I don't know if it's because we we're using an older map. But 
maybe at some point we'll have to try a new map and dig our way down and see what happens. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's basically our base. That's basically what we've been up to. <laughs> and, uh, as you can see, it's uh, we're making progress. So yeah, I think we've talked. I've talked about everything that I care about for this update. And yeah, like I said, I'm not complaining. I'm just trying to point things out, and hopefully they'll get fixed. Yeah, and uh, you know, we are working on these videos. You know, we're doing our best, right? Of course, it's just time, your frame and factor. Not that you guys care or, or whatever, but just uh, you bear with us as we work on these because we don't want to have something that oh you know look we're watching it mine again or oh look they're doing that again so we figured yeah. this is a little bit different kind of showed you know what's going on what's happening yep and yeah yeah no i like it i like this it's good so i just hope you guys like it too and yeah <laughs> hopefully they'll fix everything that they they want fixed yeah yeah yeah. I know it's on the website they put an update saying that they're putting, make, working on some more fixes for 6, so who knows, maybe this video will be out of date. <laughs> yeah, yeah well. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, awesome.